Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 89 of Build Your Own X-Wing from Star Wars and from Diagostini, but mainly from Star Wars. So in this issue, we're doing some more cockpit detailing with some more tubes uh, and also some more bulkhead fitting around the cargo bay area, apparently. Uh, but before we get to the build, as ever, a quick look through the magazine. We're still looking at the Imperial Shuttle. Uh, Matt Paintings, uh, Mr. Paintings, you wouldn't call your son Matt, would you? That's just not right. Uh, yes, meshing of painting and film come together so convincingly, people don't have an unusual reaction. Exactly right. When watching it, you don't realise, oh, that's a painting. You do now, but you didn't then. It worked very, very well. So, uh, yeah, nice with that. Chewy, did we not talk about Chewy before? I, I, He's a pilot, he's co-pilot, so he obviously can fly, but does he really? I don't know. But yeah, okay, fair enough. It's getting to the last dozen issues, so they you know, short of people to talk about. Uh, right, the cargo bay and cockpit. We're fitting the life support hoses today. So we have multiple hoses to fit and only one place to fit them. The one place I haven't got here yet because it's it's huge. Uh, the cockpit is not separate anymore, so we've just got to get with it. I've moved those out of the way over there. Uh, I put these in the order that they had them in the picture, whether that is any help to me at all. I'm just trying to figure out from looking at the pictures which way they got things sorted and arranged, and I can't really tell. Um, let's Let's try. This is the cockpit. It's obviously attached to the middle of the entire everything. So, yeah, right. It, push it back further through there, right. That's probably the best that I can come up with for this. This is obviously where we're going to be working. So I can put the picture in picture up there, it's out the way. So yes, identify hoses A, B and C, which fit on the port side. That's the left, that's over here. So the closest bit to me. A, B and C should be A, B and C. So let's move them down here. Right, let's have a look. Fit the upper end of A into the rearmost of the two holes in the port side of the left life support unit. Trouble is everything's black. You can't see everything. Um, I have a torch, which I shall just grab. There we go. So now I can still not really see i think they're talking about in there but there's a, there's a hole there there's a hole at the back there there's a couple of holes in various different places that's not very helpful i shall get a brighter torch and uh yeah I'll, I'll have a look with my visor on and see if i can see exactly what they're dealing with before i come back to you right i've taken that bit out because it was just in the way now there are two holes they're not Really, one's a lot higher than the other, but it's not so much far back, but that seems to be what they're saying. So this one seems to want to be in the lower of the two holes. Or at least that's how I would have worded it. I wouldn't have said rearmost or anything like that, because it's really not. It's a, it's a little bit further back, maybe, but it's also not wanting to take anything into it. So, yeah, talk amongst yourself for a moment while I try and jam this into a hole. That seems to be it, maybe. I think that's probably it, or at least as it... No, it's not come out again. I might have to trim that down, but if I trim it down, then it might not hold in very well, and I don't want to have to glue any of these, because I'm thinking I might have to take them back out to... Do some weathering and painting with it so that seems to be that uh, now obviously i've got to do the same again with the other one slightly above it which is if anything even harder to get to because this is in the way now i don't know why we've put things in in the order we did okay that's there now but this has still got a, uh, i've got to go under that to get to it all right okay Try that. Does that help? That seems to be about there. Yeah, the order of installation is a little bit confusing to me. 
okay that's that not in there no okay right i'm gonna cut the video i'm gonna get that in there uh and then we'll see where they've got to go into the holes that i can't see there's three holes down the bottom there uh put the lower ends of a b and c into the holes even okay, they've got an a b and c written up there i'll get that done as well and we'll see how it looks right there we go there we have a b and c pitted as they should be going down into the floor i see no reason that d e and f are going to be anything other than just as bloody difficult so i shall get those done off camera again and show you the cockpit bit when it's finished right there we go but as expected those three were also a complete pain uh, i've managed to get a better camera view so you can actually see things uh, that's how they all look at the moment i i yeah i think i'm definitely gonna have to do some form of weathering on it but yeah uh, at the moment that completes the engine the hoses uh, there's obviously two holes down here which is where the seat's going to attach and that's going to cover most of the back of that anyway so yeah uh, we've still got the two attachment points for the canopy which aren't actually pictured on here uh, mainly because I don't know why I don't know how this one's going to work because it's all sort of tied up in the hoses but it's probably just going to end up being like that and, that, and the hoses are just going to push over to one side uh, whether that should be attached to the canopy at the moment but mine aren't they're like that so that's that so far um i shall reset the camera and come back out and we'll fit those cargo bay side panels right these are fairly easy as you'd imagine they're basically just going to go on there like that and like that uh we have pins to locate uh another tube there's like i've got a screw maybe to go into the top of that but not at the moment um they're going straight down so don't try and push them in from the sides it's just a case of managing to get it lined up uh the little pin's going to go there there and there oh, and the plastic one at the front there so that tube is going to go yeah that's going to go inside the framework so just to get it all lined up and that pushed into place really easily so that's probably a good thing um this means the other side is obviously not going to go in quite so easily actually it will it will go in just as nicely actually not quite that might need a little bit of a tension there to make that hold in there a little bit better again when the other frame piece comes over the top that might well help out with that so i'm not worrying about it at the moment We'll see how it goes with the continuing build. But that's it for this this uh, issue. Uh, it completes the assembly for now, as it says. Uh, we have a picture of the life support system as featured. Lots of tubes, just like the tubes we just put in. Yay! Exactly the same. It's almost the same. It's sort of similar. Okay, I put all the other bits back in place as well. Uh, on the back, we have the Falcon, because we were talking about Chewy, and they fry out pictures of the... Uh, shuttle by the looks of it so yes that's that uh, that was 89 join me soon for issue 90 and then i shall continue the build next month from that but soon for 90 so thanks for watching bye bye for now